And in Iowa, Donald Trump up 11 points over his rival, Senator Ted Cruz. In New Hampshire, Donald Trump is up 17 points over Cruz. Former governor from Nebraska, Heineman, is with me now. Governor, so glad you are here. Is Donald Trump's move to the right of Senator Cruz on immigration the most significant reason for this point lead as you see it? I think there are a lot of reasons uh, why he's doing very well. You know, seven months ago, none of us thought this was going to happen. But he's leading in every poll. Uh, he's touched a nerve out there regarding the economy, uh, regarding jobs. People are concerned about their jobs, their kids' future, the security of America. So he clearly has the momentum. I've talked to my friends over in Iowa that think it's going to be a close race, but it does appear Donald Trump's on the way to winning Iowa potentially. Okay, well, as you say, this issue is so important to most Americans. Radio host Glenn Beck, though, still endorsing Senator Cruz while criticizing Trump. Listen in. The arrogance is beyond imagination. We are, as citizens, required to judge his record. And his record is very clear. He is a lifelong progressive. So progressive, conservative, there's different terms being thrown around towards Senator Cruz, also towards Donald Trump. People say he is a populist instead of being a conservative. But one week from Iowa, what do you make of endorsements such as that one? Well, I would say the key endorsements that are coming uh, from within the state are far more important. For example, what Governor Branstead said uh, about Senator Cruz, that he wasn't pro-ethanol, he was anti-agriculture. I think that hurt Senator Cruz last week. Uh, endorsements uh, can be critical, but at this stage of the game, the most important endorsement would be the Iowa voters. And clearly that's where Trump uh, has had success. And, and you've got to just face the facts uh, populism, conservatism, whatever it is, Donald Trump is tuned in to the average voter right now, and they're responding. So, uh, Governor, since you mentioned Iowa, there are some critics of the process that say results from Iowa are not a useful bellwether, and history shows having an early lead, including for Iowa, doesn't really guarantee a party's nomination. So you can see here in the last three election cycles, candidates that led the polls in January had dropped out by November. So will Donald Trump, will Hillary Clinton, for that matter, keep their respective leads? Well, uh, that's why you shouldn't get uh, too excited just yet. The people haven't voted. We start that process next week in Iowa, then New Hampshire, South Carolina, and Nevada. Uh, the fact of the matter is each state goes through a bit of a winnowing process. Someone has to go first. Iowa's done it for a long period of time. time. The first primary uh, is New Hampshire, and the fact of the matter is this race will go on longer than most people think. It won't be over after two states. All right, Governor. On the Democratic side, the presidential race, a new poll showing a reversal in fortune for Bernie Sanders. So he's edging up on Hillary Clinton, especially in Iowa, after trailing last month. Senator Sanders from Vermont, so he's holding this large lead in neighboring New Hampshire. President Obama says the candidate who can project hope is the one who will gain the most attraction. It's what he did in 2008. Is Senator Sanders the 2016 version of Obama in 2008? It's possible in different ways. I, I would tell you again, I've talked to my friends across the river in Iowa. Uh, Senator Sanders has the momentum, the energy, the excitement, the enthusiasm. You don't see that with Secretary Clinton. So he's closing the gap. The question uh, will simply be, will his people turn out and vote uh, next Monday night? If they do, there could be a major upset. But remember, when this race started, Secretary Clinton, it was a coronation. She was invincible. She was going to win without, a que without question. That's certainly not true today. Well, to your point, critics of Hillary Clinton say her stump speech just sounds like a bunch of D.C. mumbo jumbo. Sanders love him or hate him, has a lot of passion, and he has a very simple message. Again, agree or not agree, everyone can understand it's about income inequality. 